see, I'm doing a video. A video. Hey guys, we're in the city of Mission today. It's a Sunday, so it's a family day. It's going to be a very busy day, and we're going to see what it has in store for us. So join me joining around or rolling around the city. This road we are traveling on is Conway Road, and it runs through the heart of Mission. We are about to show you one of the very best attractions of Mission, Texas. Stay tuned. We have arrived and this is a flea market. It is one of the very best attractions as I mentioned. Seeing it you may say, is that really the best that your city has to offer? Well it is. Just wait for the cheap food, awesome views, awesome animals, and amazing antiques. Did I mention cheap? In this flea market in specific, we can expect all kinds of animals to be up for sale. In this instance, we have goats and sheep. Too bad they will most likely be bought only to be eaten. Because the hot weather wasn't very forgiving, we stopped at a Nieve Mexicana or Mexican ice cream stand. It differs from regular ice cream because it is a water-based flavored slushy, meaning it is dairy-free. Flavors vary from lime, mango, banana, and even chamoy. It's amazing. Our next stop called our attention because Halloween decorations were already up. These candy baskets were only 50 cents. We definitely had to get one. The vendors had a variety of items from clothes, footwear, and even some woodwork. We then moved on to the cowboy theme, or in Spanish, the rancho. There was hats, boots, belts, tools, and even authentically made Mexican items. For example, these sandals. Loteria, who doesn't love a good game of Loteria? This stand had everything you need to make your own Loteria cards. I even gave in and bought some supplies. There was plenty of records, mostly old from the 70s, 80s, and 90s, most with Spanish influence. You could also notice influences of religion and pop culture, such as Marilyn Monroe. A big emblem for the pulga, of course, is fresh produce, half the price of big chain convenience stores normally. And fresh nopalitos or cacti. You can't find those at HEB. Next up, we went over to these $5 chickens. That is pretty cheap for a chicken, even here at the pulga. They must be a lot of work, so the owner wants to get rid of them. A good chicken soup awaits them. And we didn't just come across animals and items, but talent as well. I was in complete awe, mm -hmm. a great voice hands down. From the distance I smelled something delicious and I found it. A tire vendor was making carnita sala for lunch. He said he preferred to make his lunch there instead of packing. After smelling the meat and seeing a food stand on the way out, it was hard to not feel hungry, but there was still another stop left to go. We are on our way to Foy's, the only one in the valley, another attraction of Mission, Texas. Okay. Can you keep going? That's like a Mexican dish. Right there, right there. I am now being rolled into the store. I should have parked closer, at least in the handicap. Anyways, we are here for the immense Mexican candy variety, something very few places have. As soon as we enter the store, we are able to see the fall pumpkins, the piñatas, and the candies. And it was also nice to see, I wasn't the only one on wheels. But anyways, the amount of Mexican candy in here is really incredible. It makes you remember old piñatas and birthday parties. It really makes me nostalgic. These chili pops in specific are iconic. And hey, for $3.99, that's not bad at all. So now that we're here, might as well restock on everything we like and gain a few pounds. Oh, 
Oh my, I had never seen these before. Foys, what are you bringing in? Mission is already saturated with health problems. And these right here are gold coins, monedas in Spanish. They're pretty big, not how I remember them. Notice how it has the Aztec like symbols and figures imprinted on the coin. Hmm, pretty interesting. And this spicy red beverage looking thing is chamoy. It is widely used for our snacks, our fruit, and our chips. Now this can be a bit unsettling if you're new to the area, but some people actually are quite superstitious, probably because of our indigenous ancestry. So some people do like candles in favor or against some things. Let's check some out. This one in specific is to be lit if you want to destroy or separate a couple of cheaters. And this one is to attract abundance and prosperity. So we are almost done with Foy Supermarket. We will pass this through and be on our way. Now we are on our way to our last and probably most influential place of Mission, Texas. This 86-year-old church is named after Our Lady of Guadalupe Missionary Complex, which was established by Spaniards in the 16th century, who hoped to convert indigenous people from the area into Catholicism. Due to this, Catholicism has become the most predominant active religion of mission and the surrounding areas, which in turn has shaped our culture, food, music, and values, making the small border town of Mission, Texas, what it is today.